tango and we're going to take a closer look at what's going on with the tubes inside of the foam generators. Now up in this corner here we have an EC92 and this is a very important part of the circuit because this tube is in charge of generating all the signals required to make all the sideman sounds. So in a way it's sort of like genesis of sound synthesis inside Sideman 5000. Further down, we have these three tubes here. We have an ECC83, an ECC92, and an EF93. They're part of this circuit that I just mentioned here, but they're also connected to the shimmer generator. And the shimmer generator is creating cymbals, brush, and maraca. Now, if I pull out the EF93, see here? It's like pulling out one of Sideman's teeth. Yeah and I press down on symbols, we don't have anything anymore. Now, if I put it back in, firmly yet carefully, symbols is back in the picture. Now, below we have a series of four ECC83s, and inside each of these um, glass envelopes, we actually have two elements, and each element is controlling one of the other sounds that Sideman makes. And on either half of the tube, we have um, something called a trimmer potentiometer. And this is something that can be adjusted to change the, uh, the filter or the tone filter. And then that allows us to sort of change the timbre of the sound that's being created. Um, what's cool about this trimmer pot is it's got a specific little spot for me to jam my screwdriver in. And I can do that here. Right now I'm affecting temple block. Let's see. I think that sounds a bit better. Come on, side man. Now, lastly, up in this corner here, we have an ECC83. And this section of um, the circuit is uh, for preamplification. So all of the signals that are being generated inside this part of side man end up over here where they get boosted once before going down over to the amplifier.